Public Wi-Fi hotspots are everywhere, but how secure are they? We're going to show you how a complete stranger can eavesdrop on your internet access from your mobile device when you're connected to a public Wi-Fi hotspot. So on your device, I want you to join the network called Free Wi-Fi. Okay. And while you do that, I'm going to ask you, do you use free Wi-Fi when you travel, airports, hotels, cafes? I do, cafes? yeah. I mean, yeah. kind of one of the first things you look for when you go somewhere is, oh, do they have Wi-Fi? Do they have Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> do you think much about the security or privacy around those? Uh, no, probably just the ease of getting on it, really. Yeah. <laughs> if it's there. Look geez. for the one without the exactly, lock next yeah. to it. <laughs> now I just want you to use your phone as you normally would when you're, uh, uh, you know, when you're sitting down having a cup of coffee on your own. Okay. I'm not going to do anything particularly sophisticated. I'm just going to watch the stuff that you're doing on your device to determine who you are, what you're interested in, and how I can use that in an attack against you. So I can already see that your device is connected to the um, uh, wireless network, mm -hmm. and um, it's already checking to see if there's a captive portal, etc. Lovely. Um, <laughs> I see that you use Instagram. Yes. Um, you are running an iPhone 5S and you have not applied your updates. <laughs> your Very operating guilty. system is behind. Yes. You need to update because this has serious security vulnerabilities. Yeah. Now a bad guy would know this now and they would use that to attack you. And I can start to see all these pictures of everything that you see is just oh, wow. scrolling past here and I can see all the images um, are that you're that you're uh, seeing on your screen. So you can see all of that just popping yeah, up as ridiculous. you browse. Yeah, so you can see everything that you're doing um, uh, uh, is coming up here. Now that I know uh, who you are and what you're interested in, and I know that you, you're shopping for bike accessories, and I can send you an email now and say, here's a $50 gift card. Oh, okay. Click here to redeem your gift card, send you to a page that's impersonating the site that you were just on. Uh, and capture all of your details. Uh, I want you to try and go to google.com.au on your okay. device. And this is a demonstration of how I can manipulate the content. Now, okay. you've got a message. What would you normally do when you see a message like that? Oh, look, probably just click continue. So do what you would normally do. Okay. <laughs> now, you've gone to Google uh, on your browser, but what's come up instead? Yahoo. Yahoo. So yeah. what I've done is I've basically made you go to Yahoo instead of Google, and you think that you're going to Google. Yeah. It's pretty scary because it's really easy to do yeah. um, uh, from a bad guy's perspective when they're on the same Wi-Fi as you. That's so scary. <laughs> the good thing is there are ways to protect yourself against this. Uh, one of those is Norton Wi-Fi privacy. What this does is it sets up an encrypted connection between your phone and Norton. Uh, so a bad guy on the same network, when they connect, Instead of seeing all of this activity that you're doing and inferring that you're using Gmail and that you're, you're, uh, you're, you know, you're on an iPhone and you're doing all these sorts of things, mm -hmm. um, what would happen is they would just see a connection from your device to Norton and okay. nothing else. Nothing else, okay. So Mark, let's see what it's like when you're using a product like Norton Wi-Fi Privacy. Good stuff, right. Well, on my phone, I'm going to open up the Norton Wi-Fi Privacy app. I'll click on Start My Virtual Private Network with a click of a button, and I'm away. I start browsing the internet now, maybe some news websites, a car magazine. What can you see? I can't see any of that. Uh, unlike those other users, all of your information is being protected by Norton, by the VPN. It's all inside that encrypted tunnel. You're in a much better position than all of the other users that we've seen today. Thank you, Nick. <laughs>